<laughs> so questions for Ty? Ty, you kind of, when we talked last year, you really kind of mentioned the, the loyalty about really why you stayed. You didn't want to transfer, kind of right. waited your turn behind the receivers. Now, seeing the way you started this season and, and really kind of thinking, thinking about your journey here, what does that mean to you to, to listen to the stat Dustin just said? Yeah, it's definitely a testament to how hard I work. Uh, I have a lot of guys on the team that push me to be great. So when I when those guys are pushing me, man, I, I try to go as hard as I can. So it's a testament to, uh, to how hard I work throughout the week, Monday through Thursday, because that's where it starts. Practice is the show, and the show is practice. So all the work that we put in throughout the week, so that's that's how it comes to true fruition. What do you think if you saw your own replay of the catch that wasn't a touchdown? I was, I was, that one blew me, I can't lie, because I, I seen the, uh, the replay, it looked yeah. like I had two in. Yeah. The, um, the light had kind of glared me, glared me a little bit, so that's why I kind of bobbled it. But I thought I had two in, it kind of blew me, but then Coach Gaddis said we will come right back to you, so that was cool uh, to make it happen the next play after that. What's it feel like seeing you on the score being the feature of this whole thing? I mean, it's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm just happy we got the W, got back on track. So uh, that's all I'm concerned about is, is us winning every week. So, I'm, it was, But it was pretty cool, though. It was a cool experience. Ty, it took a while for things to open up uh, offensively for you guys. You know, that last drive in the first half and then you know thereafter. What was the key to kind of stretching the field and being able to get those downfield looks? Right, yeah. This, um, coming, in, coming in at halftime, we told the guys that adversity and the obstacles are going to happen, no matter if it's this game or any game down the road. Adversity and the obstacles are going to happen. So it was just us just pushing hard and pushing through the obstacles that we had faced during the game and us to keep to keep keep pushing that full throttle so we can keep making plays. So we made some plays out there and we ended up getting W. It's the bond that we created uh, throughout the winter, spring, summer. This is the whole offseason. The bond we created through our, with our brothers. So just looking at my guys to the right and left of me, I want to do it for them. So this is the bond we created, and we're a close-knit group. So anytime we go through any obstacles or adversity, we're ready to go, no matter for, uh, like no matter what. Did you lay out goals for yourself before the season? Yeah, did you envision something like this, 300-yard games? <laughs> yeah, I definitely uh, – one thing I worked on the whole offseason, kind of my mental state and kind of working on how, how, I, go, how I go about things, like – off the field, on the field, that's how I go about everything. So and my mental state, of course I have goals, but the main goal is to try to uh, win as many games as, as I can with this team. So I'm just so happy that we got the win in, and we'll celebrate this one and get on to the next. Coach talked about that this is a rivalry. How much do you know about this being a rivalry? Yeah, I know, I know a little bit. That? Yeah, yeah, a little ACC rivalry. Um, I'm from Virginia. I grew up with the Stonebridge High School, so I had some guys uh, uh, from my old high school in the stands and stuff like that. So it was definitely cool being being back in the home state and getting a W. So. Could you take us through the touchdown catch? What was the call? What was the execution? What was the coverage? Yeah, it was uh, cover six, co we covered three, and then he was outside leverage just like it was in practice. The coach did a great job of kind of having the same look that we got that I had in game in practice. So it was basically the same look that we had practiced all week. And then when I, when I went out there and I lined up and I seen where the corner was, he was outside leverage. So I sprayed it outside leverage, went to his outside shoulder, stemmed him, broke it off, and then Billy had a perfect ball. The ball on, on the iPad looked crazy. So he fit it in there and ended up making a play. So. Coach, two more. Coach said uh, earlier that last week he felt there was maybe a little bit of scoreboard watching that kind of creates anxiety as, as the game goes mm -hmm. on. How much did you guys, as a team, feel an emphasis to not let not let that happen again, knowing kind of how kind of hit or miss you guys really started? Yeah, yeah. It was us just keep fighting. I mean, at the at the end of the half is zero zero. Just keep pushing. Like the game's not over till it's zero zero in the fourth quarter. So it was us just keep fighting and, and all the work we put in throughout practice. So it was just us just keep fighting and realizing that uh, anything is possible. We just keep fighting. So. And last one in the back. Ty, start of the second half, defense gets the three and out. You guys go on that eight plate drive down the field. How important was it to use that punch in the mouth to take the lead back? Yeah, it definitely was a momentum swing. I mean, when those guys are out there making plays on offense, we feel like we have to make a play because throughout the whole first half, they were kind of saving us a little bit, keeping us in the game and stuff like that. So when uh, coming out the second half, uh, I told it, we told the defense, just keep on going. We're going we to make it happen. So we ended up making it happen and getting a W. So. Thank you, Ty.